Hey folk, Alice from Vengage here. Just a quick video walkthrough to show you how to use a Vengage template to create a custom logo for your brand. Today I'm going to be making a logo for a charity. So I'm going to show you how I got from this to this. I'm going to get rid of all the hands icons, they aren't really relevant for my brand. It's really easy. You just click on the icon and then click delete at the top. So in icons, I'm going to search for arrows instead. We're called Head Start, I think this is a great visual representation of it. Selecting the arrows I want and I'm going to drag three across. Once you've got them on your page, move them about and resize them. The pink box means that it's aligned. I'm going to change the colours of the icons. Click on the icon, then click on the button that looks like a teardrop right at the top. Do one blue, one green and one orange. The next thing I need to do is I need to change the text. As I said before, we're called Head Start, not Helping Hands. Here I'm going to do it across two lines. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the alignment from centre to left. Drag the text up to where you want it. Highlight the text and select a new size in the top menu. And reposition your text. I'm also going to move the word organisation so that it sits neatly under the arrows. And there you have it. That's how you get from helping hands to head start. Another really cool thing you can do with Vengage is you can upload your custom brand colours into the My Brand Kit tool. This will allow you to create a colour palette that you can apply to all designs across the site. Back in the editor, if you open the My Brand Kit tool, you can click the My Brand Colours. This will automatically apply the colours to your design. You can click the shuffle icon to cycle through combinations of the colours in your design. You can also select brand colours manually by clicking on the drop function at the top and finding them under the brand colours palette. This is a great way to make sure all your designs are consistent. Have a look through the Bengage logos. You can find them all on the templates page right under logos. I'll pop the link in the bio below so please do have a look. Leave us a comment below to let us know any logo tips and tricks you have and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Bengage.